can coding boost your brain? The 21st century runs on code. But put simply, code is software language, a list of instructions to tell a computer what to do, and your daily life is dominated by it. Every plane that you take, every phone call that you make, every online purchase, every hilarious tweet that you send, every step of the way, it's code. With Barack Obama becoming the first American president to write a line of JavaScript code, and the huge rise of Coder Dojo events, including ones here in Northern Ireland, coding is at last very much in the public consciousness. But what I really want to know is, what effect is all this coding having on the old noggin? Okay, so first off, what have you got up there? If you get your two clenched fists and put them together, that is about the size of your brain. Three pounds of pink and grey blancmange. Doesn't seem terribly impressive, does it? But take your cerebral cortex, where most of your brain's information processing is going on. If you were to unfold it, you'd get something about the size of a pillow, and there is a lot going on in there. Your brain has 80 to 100 billion nerve cells called neurons. They're firing messages to each other via electrical impulses, but they need help. The brain you see is like a muscle. It needs exercise to conserve its vitality. And coding is the perfect workout. By mixing mathematics, logic, reasoning, science and languages, you're firing up those neurons. They're producing hundreds of electrical impulses per second, forging new connections called neural pathways. An activity like coding can cause the brain to produce enough electricity to power a 25 watt light bulb. Some people think that they are just too old to learn to code. Well, let's look at the facts. If you're over 30, your brain is shrinking. Every year you lose about 0.5% of your brain after that, and if you get all the way to age 90, you could have lost up to a third of your hippocampus, the area your brain used to store memories. So just give up, right? I've got one word for you. Neuroplasticity. The brain is like putty and can be remoulded and strengthened all the time by learning new skills like coding. We can't stop the shrinkage, but we can fight back by acquiring new abilities and forming new synaptic connections up there. If you're older, learning to code will boost your brain. It helps you build up what is known as your cognitive reserve. This is the backup that we use in our fight against brain damage and conditions like Alzheimer's. When you set yourself a challenge like learning to code, you release noradrenaline and dopamine, chemical fertilizers which will keep your brain fighting fit. So what have you got to lose? Steve Jobs once said, everyone should learn a computer language because it teaches you how to think. And he was right. Learning to code can train your brain to see the world in a new way. Coding is essentially problem solving. It's taking a big, complicated problem and breaking it down into a series of simpler, smaller, more manageable tasks. This mindset, sometimes called computational thinking, can be used in other fields too. Problems are solved using the reasoned and systematic approach used by coders. Coding is not just for the boffin elite of Silicon Valley. It's for everyone to boost their brains, not to mention their job opportunities. In the future, not being able to code or understand computer language could be as limiting for your life and your career as being illiterate or enumerate is today. So if you don't know your Python from your C-sharp or your PHP from your Ruby, then perhaps it's time that you did.